Ubuntu GNOME 15.04. That's what we're going to look at next. This is how it boots up. And this is the one that, um, this is the GNOME 3, I think they call it. Uh, the one that uh, everyone kind of shied away from. And uh, they just didn't like it. And I can kind of see why. Even this one being the 1504, the newest build, uh, I wouldn't uh, use this. It's just something about it that um, I just, right from the start, from looking at it, I, I just don't like it one bit. But we're going to have a look at it anyway. And of course, this is how it boots up. <clears throat> and I can kind of see if you look. Uh, how uh, Mint, Linux Mint, went uh, their own direction with Cinnamon. But if you look at this uh, GNOME 3, you can kind of see the Cinnamon in there. Like the calendar. You see that calendar there? If you cut that off right here, this is the Cinnamon calendar. It has a bigger border on it. And if you come over here and you look how the things are, I mean, it's a little bit more heftier kind of a look to it, but I can see where the cinnamon came from. But anyway, let's just have a look at this thing. There you click over here, and it doesn't matter where you click over here. It's not like they're separate little things. It's just you click in this area. And it brings up your little volume, your connection battery thing, power settings, turn on and off wired connection, your settings, logout thing, and then of course the little calendar over here, and then activities, it pulls up this little sidebar over here, and you got Firefox, uh, and the evolution uh, email thing. Okay. Empathy. Rhythm box. Shotwell. LibreOffice Writer. And there's your files and help. Okay, let's go to the files. And here's what about one of the things I don't like about it. And also with the Ubuntu. Uh, Unity, it puts everything up here in this panel. And of course, you can't right click on the panel and put your apps or whatever. So, what what good is the panel? It's only for the. I mean, I'm over here. I have to go up here to, to get to preferences and everything for this. There's the. Preferences, View, Default, Display. Okay, and here's the folder down here. Okay, now i got to come up here if I want to uh, change something. New window. Okay, where's my... I guess there's no... Uh, Extra pane or new tab open. They got it has tabs. Okay. It just has a look about it that uh, I don't know. It, it's just not right. But anyway, we'll keep. Uh, try to keep my opinion out of this and uh, continue on okay let's see uh, how do I okay you click down here shows all applications okay it does have my favorite game I like okay additional drivers archive manager backup Brazos calculator car character map cheese that's a little webcam capture thing, uh, deconfig editor. 
Uh, disk uh, thing cleaner I guess or utility disuse analyzer document viewers empathy evolution email thing there's a file Firefox okay where was I at um, font viewer get edit help image viewer input method library office got the full suit there Maps, mind, little games, and uh, password, rhythm box, screen readers, screenshot, settings, shot well, simple scan, software updaters, and the software uh, disk creator, and this monitor and all that stuff. And terminal transmission tweak tool, Ubuntu software center, videos, weather, and uh, some other little thing. Let's see what this is. X diagnostic settings. Okay. Okay, we don't need that right now. Let's go back. Okay, let's go into uh, tweak tool. Okay, there's the um, appearance. <coughs> Okay, that didn't change anything. Desktop. Extensions, fonts, keyboard, power, startup, top bar, typing windows. Okay, nothing to, uh, then workspaces, dynamic. Okay. Uh, appearance. Global dark theme. Okay, let's see if we can get something to change here. Okay, that changed to that. There's high color. High contrast. You meant, uh, Humanity, nothing's really okay. Let me, uh, okay. Ubuntu has a problem. Okay, that's probably, um, it's being in virtual box. Let me slow down here a little bit. Okay, there's the theme there. Okay, what is this? Okay. Let me see, how do I get back to the files? Okay, it only really changed. I just don't understand where they were going with this and, and where they're going with it. Okay, uh, let's go back to uh, appearance. How do I get back out of here? I mean, you got to, to get somewhere, you have to travel so far. Okay, let me see what else they got. Let's okay the Ubuntu Software Center. That's not bad. I like the Ubuntu Software Center. And most of the software that's installed on it ain't bad. You know, I mean you can use some of that. Let's see the system monitor here. It just it's like it's missing something. I I just don't understand. They, they, it's Okay, and then uh, calculator. Okay, there's my game. Let's see how the game looks. Okay, this uh, looks about normal. Uh, additional drivers. <clears throat> Let's see, is there any other control panel? Settings. Okay, there's this control panel. Backgrounds, notification, online accounts, privacy, regional and language, search, Bluetooth, colors, display, keyboard, keyboard and mouse, <coughs> I mean mouse and touchpad, networking, power, um, printer, sounds, and some kind of 
uh, WACOM tablet. And then in systems, got backups, time and date, details. Ubuntu 14.10, I don't know why it says that. Uh, should have been the 15.04. Sharing universal uh, access and user account. Okay, let's uh, look at the backgrounds. Of course, you got to click on that and then click again. That's the one it boots with. And then there's this green one here. Okay, you gotta double click. Okay. See how many backgrounds it has. There's quite a few backgrounds there. Cat. Some design of GNOME. Colorful ones. And then the lock screen. You can pick the uh, <coughs> picture for that, colors or whatever. Okay. Uh, notifications. Privacy. Screen lock. Usage trash and purge Bluetooth display mouse and touchpad it's just real uh, basic uh, there's not a lot of uh, settings and it's just I mean this is the, all the settings here and and that's the touchpad. Let's see, mouse and touchpad, general, and then the speed. Okay, and that's it. That's all you get. You get power, full charge. Okay, blank screen, Bluetooth, suspend, power off. And that's it. <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah, I can kind of see where. Um, people don't like this um, I couldn't use it it just uh, not my thing man this is just uh, something about it but uh, of course the Ubuntu Software Center that's pretty good I, I don't like this I, I gotta go up here I don't understand where they were heading with this. It's just, and then you you. I can't put nothing in the panel. It's just this thing here. Okay, so it's like the Ubuntu. The Ubuntu has a thing here with the panel that you can't do nothing with. Can't right click on it and put things in it. Uh, I don't understand that. And a clock and calendar there you can't really do nothing with. Can't move it. Can't do nothing. And this stuff over here. Can't do nothing with it. I mean all, all of this. Just like Ubuntu all this panel here could have been put into this top panel all you need is this top panel they could have got rid of just like Ubuntu has that what's it called that launcher they could have got rid of the launcher and put everything in this top panel where you could add stuff to it and uh, that's all you need this is just like Ubuntu I mean, it's got a panel up here you can't do nothing with. And then when you open stuff, it's up here. And you're, you're down here. So, 
I don't, I don't understand that. Why, why would you make something like that? Here's my folder settings, or up here, and here's my folders. Nothing. Properties. And then the uh, folder itself, the, the file burnt the file management thing itself is, is just I mean everything about it I, I just don't like. It's just too plain and too silly. I can see why people didn't like this. And they said they uh change things and made it better I, I don't see it I don't know what the if this is better then I'd hate to see the older ones and let's see uh, that's the only control panel in here and there's nothing about or you right click change on backgrounds it gets that simple thing I mean it's just simple and uh, I don't know I, I couldn't use this it's just really uh, simple and I'm sure it's you know it's a pretty quick operating system and you know it works and functions, but just the way it's designed, uh, I mean, there's no I don't have my stuff that I need. It's just it's I'm locked out of everything that I use on a daily basis, so I, I couldn't use this. I could use it for to play this game. That's probably about it. I mean, that's uh, all I could see that I could do with it. Okay. But uh, this was the Ubuntu GNOME uh, 15.04. Um, I would have to say that... Um, I don't know who's using this or why <laughs> when there's so many other uh, normal uh, operating systems or distros out there and I just don't understand where they're going with it but I can also uh, understand why people got away from it and uh, I mean it's just uh, something about it I, I, you know but if you like it, yeah, it's fine. Um, but that's about it. I mean, there's nothing more to look at here. And there's all. And of course, the Ubuntu Software Center, you can easily install software. That's a good thing about it. You can just click and search and go and install. Just don't like this uh, taskbar. You can't put your apps on it. And uh, <clears throat> don't care for that um, docky, this thing popping up over here all the time. Uh, much like the Ubuntu uh, Unity. Unity can't click on the taskbar. This this is just like a, a different version of Unity. I mean that's all this is. It's like a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit uh, a little bit of Unity, and something else. I don't know what, but all right anyway i'm just going to end this here because i don't know what else to say about this thing but um this was the uh new ubuntu gnome 1504